Hey guys, so uh, this is uh, not a great quality video, but I had to start somewhere. Like they always say, you have to start somewhere. Um, this is a series that hopefully the file and the quality gets improves. I'll start using Lightroom again and all that stuff. Um, but this is the first in hopefully uh, a several series or actually one in many, I guess, of a series that I'm going to call uh, How I Got the Shot. Um, I've had a lot of people that, that ask me, you know, when you're storm chasing, what do you do? And, and what what led up to you being able to get that really cool shot that you were able to get? And ask any storm chaser and they'll tell you the same thing, especially when it comes to um, when it comes to getting just a really great photo um, that they're proud of. Um, if you ask them how they got that shot or what was happening that day. Um, they'll probably tell you that they missed traffic, they couldn't get out of town, all sorts of bad things were happening, um, and then some things started to come together, especially those last moments. They might not even have thought that they caught the image, but they ended up doing that. Um, and this, uh, this, uh, this episode, I just wanted to share and actually start off um, by sharing how I got the shot. We're going to just show you, this was the... This was the first shot that I got, and that's not even my favorite. It was the first bolt that I got. But on the morning of the 6th, yeah, so I noticed on radar, I woke up about 5 o'clock or maybe 5.30 in the morning, and something told me to check radar scope. So I pulled up, and I, look, I, I pulled up my phone, and I saw that there was a storm in Mexico, south of Juarez, Mexico. And it was slowly moving, but it was dropping a bolt here or a bolt there. And um, something just told me, I had this inkling that, hey, I need to get off my butt. And I kind of just dismissed it because it was still a good 40, 50 miles out. And here, just let me put that on the screen for you guys so you can still see that because it's a really good shot. It was about 45, I don't know, 40, 50 miles out. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. There we go. And uh, so, you know, it was that this storm here was, you know, about 40, 50 miles to the south here. And I took a shower, and I took my time, and I looked at radar again, and I saw that this storm was still moving. Uh, look at that. I mean, you could tell the, the, the stratification, or the striations, I should say. Sorry, I'm really tired. Worked last night. But, um, and something told me to just head up to a, a spot. This, this, this road is known as Scenic Drive in El Paso. And you can see the, if, as I zoom in, you can see the Wells Fargo Bank. Um, this is all the downtown El Paso area. And these mountains are in, in Juarez, Mexico. And the border, as I point my, my cursor here, is about right in here. That's where the border is. You can tell that the lights are a little different than El Paso's lights. Um, so you have the U.S.-Mexico border right in here. And uh, so I got up there, and just as I got up there in time, I saw bolts were landing in the mountains back here. And I was excited because I followed my gut. I went ahead and went up there. And I managed to, cap to capture the storm with this beautiful structure. I mean, look at how it just, just it swirls. And, um, yeah, there was, there was some really good wind shear that day. I think it was a, I'm not a meteorologist, so you guys can tell me. But I got these really cool shots, guys, of, of the lightning just hitting down below the mountain there. And uh, I set my camera up. I set the lightning trigger. I was... Standing next to a light pole uh, on Scenic Drive, there's this huge, beautiful, not light pole, a huge, beautiful uh, flagpole. And uh, here, I'll zoom in so you guys can see these bolts were just landing down. And I, I knew that I was pretty safe as the storm was still pretty far away. And, uh, but then the storm started to approach a, a little closer. And as I kept going, it just kept capturing these cool little bolts. Um, I'll just move myself out of the way a little bit more there. There you go. But, you know, yeah, I was capturing, and this is right before sunrise. This is not a afternoon storm. This was right before sunrise. So um, I think I had the, the camera settings. I don't, I don't even know what I have them on right now. I can, I'm using the Windows photo thing, which I should really not be doing. Total rookie YouTuber move to do that. But... Um, yeah, and I, so I just captured these these bolts, uh, bolt after bolt, dropping out of the sky. And I like this one, how it kind of pierced through some of the, the rain and the, I don't know what the deal is there. And finally, here I started seeing 
I actually got a few of these, but I started seeing these kind of, you know, sparks and, and it was the, these, these strikes were actually causing, you know, transformers to explode and things like that. This one was when I started to realize, can you tell what's going on here? The lightning is actually just off to the right of the image, but it landed pretty close and you can see the direction of the, of the light is from, is from right in here and, it, and it's going this way. And that's when I knew that my time was up. And finally, we got a few more here. And this was the second best image. It's a really great image. It's the, the second best shot that I think it actually, or had already um, sparked up in here. You can see the little double, I don't know, the double flash right in there. But uh, the structure looks really good. And you can see it raining. You can see almost a little bit of a, I wouldn't even say it's a microburst, just a nice downburst of rain there. It wasn't a lot of rain. It was a quick, and then finally got this shot, guys. This sucker came right out of the sky and landed right, I would say, uh, pretty much that would be I-10. Interstate 10 is right along these, near these tracks. This is Interstate 10 right in here. And the highway just goes down and around and starts to make the turn right there. Um, and it must have rocked people's world. You can actually see the highway right where my cursor is. And... That was the last one, and I knew I had to get out of there. I was just a couple... Later on that day, uh, on the way back, I, I saw this shot. And then just some beautiful structure late at night on the way back through New Mexico as this, the, the storm system was exiting. You still see those, those nice striations in the clouds. Um, and I just... Yeah, I, I spent that time and, and did that. And these are a couple of other ones that are captured from... I think I was using this... This, these ones were from the, the, the Sony. Oh, and I did spend some time out at White Sands. But going back to the the money shot, guys, I just, I love that shot. I was so excited. The other ones were great shots, in my opinion. For me, as a storm chaser, I was super happy with them. And then I got this shot, and it was jaw-dropping. You can even see where an, the, a bolt had already sparked a transformer or something down over here as well. Um... But that's how I got the shot. I followed my instincts. I went up to the a spot. Here's the other thing is I actually went up to this spot that was, um, I, I always knew where the spot was. Um, I'm native to El Paso. So I've always, and I'm, I don't live there anymore, but I always had just a real large hope of wanting to capture a storm overlooking the, the El, pa El Paso Valley and, and the valley in Mexico there also in, in Juarez. And it all came together. I followed my instinct, got up, got set up. Within 30 seconds, I got my first bolt. I used the lightning trigger from lightningtrigger.com. That's the LT4. Um, I have three of those, and they're, they're pretty pricey in, when it comes to lightning triggers, but it's the only ones I use, um, and they work really well. Obviously, they, they captured these, um, and I also have a time lapse of this. If you guys want to see this sometime, I'll show you the time lapse. Um, but it's also on YouTube. If you scroll through, you'll see an El Paso storm there. Um, anyways, guys, that's how I got the shot. The settings, I think, for this was, I think it was like F7.1, maybe F8, um, ISO 100, ISO 100. Um, and I think the shutter speed was like one-tenth of a second, maybe one-fifteenth of a second, somewhere around there. As you can see, the sun was coming up. Well, you can't see that, but the sun was beginning to uh, or almost right excuse me right in this little area so that was the settings i'm really sorry about the low quality this will get better as i improve um, my skills on doing youtube videos but um, i hope you enjoyed that and if you have any other questions leave comments below and i'll do my best to improve on this y'all have a good one